because why not, essentially? I haven't run the Class 67 in a while now, quite a long time. So this one is Class 67 Morning Mail to Exeter and it is by Mr. Radio. Now I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. We're on Riviera Modern. Uh, Exeter St. David's uh, Platform 4 in 20 miles is our first station. We have green signal. Oh, pace of hype. What's in the AP station pack? So it's basically buildings and s bits and pieces to help you make um, station buildings. <coughs> it's purely for... Uh, if you are... If none of the routes you use it, that you use, need it, then... Uh, or if you're not making a route yourself, then you don't need it, essentially. It's a, it's a, it's a scenery pack. go. There is new uh, new scenery from New Haven up to Mystic and from Boston Shire. Alright, well I'll take another look. It's, uh, it's moved on obviously since I last looked at it. Which is good. It looked like it was... I mean, it was uh, It looked like it was progressing. Uh, when I was out on my um, journeys up to Stirling, I saw two 67s. Saw an Arriva blue one, and um, there was uh, uh, where else was there? I can't remember what the other one was. Then we saw. What loco is Prince William? Is that the 47 or was that the 67? And then there was an 8F on the other side of it. Right, get up to 90. So the next stop is Exeter St David's and that is our our only station. So this route is by this scenario is by Mr. Radio. I thought I thought I thought I thought it was forty. It looked beautiful, actually. It looked uh, very, very nicely uh, looked after. The armor rune doves. You know, I don't know the answer to that question. I mean, this one's got the res ones. I don't know about maroon ones, if I'm honest. are still better. <laughs> yes, it does have the white walls, yeah. It looked beautiful. Um, so I just want to give you an update on the partnership situation. Um, I emailed, or I sent the, I filled in the form today, um, requesting partnership. So I will let you know if that comes of anything. It 
So uh, yeah, if you, you keep uh, keep uh, coming along to the streams, it will help immensely. Keep the numbers up because the numbers have been going up nicely. Um, so if we keep those numbers going up over the next few days, that will be uh, really awesome. Just want to you know, regardless of whether we get partnership or not, I just want to say thank you. You know, it's um, I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. Yeah, I need the outside AWS thing back on, don't I? Let me turn that back on. Ta! You're off work for the next two weeks over here. Nice, and I'm off. I'm, I'm off work all next week, so I'm going to uh, try streaming um, quite a bit next week if I can. Twitch partnership on my birthday would be beyond awesome. It would be uh, very cool indeed. I forgot to fill out the top. What do you mean, Daniel? get part of the whole crowd goes wild yeah. <laughs> external AWS <laughs> for the win Oh yes, I did the. I only did part of it, didn't it? It's Riviera Modern Class 67. Longer streams next week, and possibly some midday stream during the day streams as well. Possibly, so I'm thinking of doing at least a couple of 12-hour streams, sort of full full day streams. Knuckle coupler, yeah, it's an external. It's actually, it's the same thing that does the um, all of this. It's all I've got. This my TS connecting is just a complete Swiss Army knife of stuff, um, and it does the um, <coughs> yeah, it does the um, it does an AWS sound as well. You think that's cheating? Why is it cheating, Ed? Because the other option is I sit in the cab and we don't get nice views. I could sit in the cab the entire time, but then it's not as entertaining, I don't think, as uh, external views. Mind you, it does mean that you can't say, Matt, Matt, external view! External view! Ah-ha, you just got tripped by an OES! Because I know that's where you want. You always ask for external views. <laughs> Am I delivering a black and white cat called Jess? Yeah, absolutely. Just call me Pat. No props for turning the wipers off. No mention at all. Yeah, oh, right, Nico, it's a setting that's been missing for years. I know, it's. Uh, you'll get no argument from me there. <laughs> I know a lot of people who like to drive from the outside. Seventy, so just keep the speed going up to seventy. 
Moggy, when you worked for Royal Mail, you had a black and white cat. He wasn't called Jess, wasn't as friendly. You know what? If you wanted to name your black and white cat that was male, Jess, I probably wouldn't have been that friendly. Oh. This is a Croydon cat. Do you have this, you have this cat in Croydon? Because that might have had something to do as well. <laughs> See you later, Gouger. Thanks for joining. New York, New Heaven revamp fixes some other things as a full Danbury and Waterbury branches. Oh, hello, that's awesome. Sounds like I need a cuff. Yeah, I know. So yeah, someone's just asked, what uh, what does it mean if um, I get partnered? So, transcoding all the time, it means we can get emoticons. Um, more fundamentally, what it means is that we get more priority inside Twitch's network, which means that you should have less trouble with buffering. Because um, sometimes, even if I upload perfect stream and you've got a great load of download bandwidth, you could still get buffering because um, if we're not partnered, then we're in amongst lots of, you know, thousands and thousands of other streams and at the bottom of the pile of Ooh, hello, Isildur donated five pound. Partnership for Mr P, shut up and take my money. Enjoying the stream as always. Isildur, you a hero. GG's for Isildur please everybody. Excellent. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I will take a look at that uh, New York New Haven. David's now 8.9 miles. Sounds like I have hay fever. You know what? It's not even hay fever. It's just that sometimes my nose plays up. There is a degree of hay fever in there, but it's... You know, all day it's been fine. Now I'm sitting in the garage, apparently. Kapow. <laughs> Jimbo, would I run a fictional route? I am more than happy to run fictional routes. My requirement for running a route is that it's on Steam Workshop. It, I'm more than happy to run fictional routes. I've run some excellent fictional routes before now. Uh, Katina in Third Rail is on my list of um, tutorials to do, yes. I must apologise if it's on my list to do for quite some time, so I need to get on and uh, do that. I'm also going to do a... Uh, um, I'm going to do a video of how to do PZB, a bit like the one PTG Rail did, but I'll give it my unique um, take. If you haven't already seen PTG Rail's video on PZB, I highly recommend it. It's very good. You just got out of band camp? Excellent. I remember a time in band camp. Is anything with Southern on it currently a fictional route? It depends if there's any trains. If it's a route without trains. <laughs> I don't know if it's down on Southern. They've never caused me any trouble. Yeah, PZB and uh, and how it stops the train at every possible opportunity. Uh, do you mean semaphore signals, Jimbo? Yes, I, I'll do a semaphore signalling tutorial. 
B. Harrison, uh, the next scenario is the last one, so it's leaving Wenatchee. Don't go there, no bank references. <laughs> One of the things I'm planning I want to do, and I might have a go at doing it next week, so I've never done route build, I've never really done route building before, other than messing about. What I was thinking of doing was taking um, something like, um, I don't know, South London to Brighton maybe, and building in the Croydon tram link into that, since all of Croydon's already there. Um, and, uh, and the trams, the Croydon trams come as part of the Black Forest route. So I thought it might be an idea. I might have a go at doing that. No idea how bad that would be, but you know what? I've got to try these things, haven't you? Oh yeah, I'll definitely use the Riviera signals, Jimbo. Definitely. We're almost up to the ton. Steaming jam. Uh, the tram route. Yes. Once I'm. If I get it to a point that it's worth sharing, I'll upload it to Workshop, of course. Three miles to go. Now we're breaking the top put some brakes on as well because look at this thing a little while to slow down um, if you make career scenarios will it appear on the home page on the home page of what uh, Gav yes we're doing ETS after leaving Wenatchee Flying Scotsman earlier on sorry you sent me a message saying that I hadn't done part 4 or hadn't uploaded it to YouTube I have checked it, and I know I've definitely run it, so it wasn't one of the ones that got missed out. Um, so I'm not quite sure why it didn't get uploaded to YouTube. However, so I'm going to run part five now, and then what I'll do is I'll privately run run part four and do a train sim mini with it, rather than boring everyone to tears running a scenario I know for a fact they've seen, because it's the one with all the toilets spilled everywhere. Tram route build sounds interesting and keep it family friendly. <laughs> yeah, that won't be a problem. I'll just basically get to a point where I go, right, moving on. You mean one going to select scenario? Yes. Right, this is uh, Exodus from Thomas. Um, Black Forest Journeys, yeah, Black Forest Journeys has bad reviews. I don't think they're justified, personally. Um, it's actually a very pretty route. Is it up to current standards? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, well, no, it's, it isn't up to current standards. But, it's. I think it's a really nice route. There's quite a lot to it. Um, so, I would look through some of the videos I've watched and pay less attention to the reviews and more attention to what you feel when you've seen it. I know a few people saw it when I ran it, when I ran it, and um, were actually very impressed with it and went out and bought it. I have already run it, Stephen Jam, several times. Right, no, turning right. 25 limit coming up. Let's just drop the speed. But yes, Black Forest route is definitely one of those routes I would say make your own judgment based on what you see. One of the but one of the reasons as I've said a number of times is the I run these routes here on the on the stream is because I want everyone to be able to see as much of the content as possible and make your own judgments about what you think of it because otherwise it's very difficult you've either got to base it on reviews that you may or may not ultimately agree with 
uh, but you don't know if you'll ever agree with them because you can't see the product. So by showing them on the stream, you get to see the product uh, and the content and the trains and all the rest of it, and you can make a reasonably informed decision about whether you agree with what you're reading in the reviews, whether particular reviewers you generally agree with, um, and generally what you think about the product. So I'm ho that's what I'm hoping, is that, it's, that the stream is actually a good way for you to make an informed decision about what products you want to buy, um, so that you always get something that is going to be fun for you. And I get to play trains an awful lot. So I'm fine with that. <laughs> Strat Shadow saw it on here and then got it. Yes, I remember you did um, Strat Shadow, that was awesome. You can stop any time you like, Train. Thank you. Yeah, I think I must have forgotten to do any of that day's streams as a highlight. <laughs> You like the TS Minis? Yeah, I'm going to try and get more of those done. They're obviously a bit more work because I've got to record them offline and then do all the editing and so forth. But they're, uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased with them as well. They're quite fun. Uh, Thunderbolt, if you create career scenarios for your route, will they appear on the page and go into section nine? Yes, they will. Right, so that was the Class 67 Morning Mail to Exeter on the Riviera Line by uh, Mr. Radio. Right, that one was down as 60 minutes. Was that 60 minutes? I don't think it was, was it? We're at 10.39. When did we start? We started at... about 9.20. So we've been down an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens with Lena Minacci Part 5 and then we'll... Uh, that was 20 minutes. Is that all that was? Let's run we're leaving Wenatchee Part 5 and then we'll see what time we've got. <coughs> I thought that was quite um, short. <laughs> and I finished it. <laughs> 